Comic Con, artists come from all over the world to gather at Artist Alley to showcase their talents and meet their fans. My dad is in Boy Scouts, and uh, we're in the office. Uh, instead of having a real babysitter, every time we went to the office, he always drove. I think that's a start of loving art, comics. First time in Comic Con, and first time in U.S. <laughs> New York. And my first uh, published comic when I was in high school, I was, uh, I think, 14 years old. And then uh, I was so happy because uh, it's a big uh, accomplishment. I am Phil Tan. I'm a comic book artist. And I work for DC, Marvel, and a lot of other comic book companies. Ah, that's way too many. Uh, writers, novelists, artists, you know, there's just so many kinds. Old timers, like artists in the 70s, like Frazetta, Wills himself, like Jim Lee, and all these, you know, Todd McFarlane the comic book artists, they all inspired us. I work on Suicide Squad with Jim Lee and you know that's what's coming that came out and my next projects haven't been announced yet so I probably shouldn't be talking about that. I've been in the comic book industry for about a, I think almost a decade now. I started with Marvel before shifting to other publishers like Dynamite and others. We're reintroducing Pedro Pinduco to the millennials and as well to the other people. It is the first time that we're introducing this outside of the Philippines. Hopefully, uh, people will support us. Uh, the Filipino comics industry is actually thriving because there's a lot of independent creators now. A lot of people, a lot of creators and artists are venturing and publishing their own. If they started it, then they, they must finish it. You must have uh, a lot of patience and all the sacrifices that you encounter, you must overcome them. You know, I mean, all the challenges. And because if you want to learn, there's uh, YouTube or the technology and the internet. Work on your craft and put it online. You know, publish it. Try to reach as many people as possible and try to be more polite and not contact people out of, out of the blue because that's what all the aspiring people does. And most of the publishers, they're not going to give you a job just because you, you show them your work. You're going to give you a job because they saw you do it yourself and publish it somewhere first and prove yourself. Comic-Con not only showcases talented artists, but they also promote resources who can provide help for artists who need it. Hero Initiative is a federally recognized charity that helps comic creators in need. Comic book work in general is a freelance industry. There aren't benefits, there aren't pensions, there aren't insurance and benefits and retirement funds and that sort of thing. So when the artists that did comics that I've read and you've read get in trouble, your initiative can help them out. One of our big things that we're selling now is we have a bunch of these, the 100 projects. Marvel and DC have partnered with us on a lot of these. Steve Dillon, co-creator of Preacher, is here with us today. We brought him here. He's based in the UK, and so he's in very high demand. He doesn't do a lot of US shows. We bring him to New York, and, and he's been a real hero, literally a hero for us. Reporting from the New York Bureau, my name is Joanne Blake. So, and I'm one with 25.